Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, oh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's Keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously. But you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Armbjorn, rose to leadership. And now, here we are. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you.
again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Yes, you heard correctly. In and out of Vardenfell in less than 48 hours. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. When I first received the blessing of the wolf, my creator gave me a Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. 
Beethild's angry and desperate, a fighter. Happy hunting. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are Moonborn. You are Wolf. So, you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh yes, I was once brother to the companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, feels differently. Later, Hamhawk. There is more knowledge in me than a tomb of your pups put together. And There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh, I love that one. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun, and we look out for each other, just like any family. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Have fun. Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You could see how painful that would have been for Mother. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Kill well, and often. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. 
Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Kill well and often. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. May the Shroud of Death embrace you. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm sp Let's see here. Ah, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. <laughs> I'm really not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. What? Well, we'll see about that now, won't we? Never should have come here. Please, someone do something! <sighs>
all my years, I've never seen such a thing. The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely, punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero. I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood? Husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done oh, speaking no. with that Whatever muttering fool say, anyway. Can't We've got some business to discuss. Ah, you must mean my little adventure. I do indeed. Ship. You it's must go to the city of Narkarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. What? Be professional, Mother? represent us well, and get Is the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. No. Just She'll be generous, I'm trips. sure. They always are. <laughs> Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be plenty more, I promise you. Very little. You have my word on that. The Night Mother represents a chapter in the Dark Brotherhood's history that has long since been closed. Today we live by our own rules. We're the last sanctuary in all of Tamriel. And only by foregoing the old ways have we survived for so long. My only worry is her keeper. I'm not sure what Cicero expects to gain by bringing the Night Mother here, but he'll soon learn this is my sanctuary. Just be yourself. Eliminate the targets any way you see fit. Quiet, loud, quick, slow, whatever you feel is best. Occasionally I'll give you a contract with certain parameters. Stay within them and you'll earn yourself a bonus. You go speak with Muiri. I've got to deal with the Night Mother and her little... clown. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband? She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Yeah, follow my wife's orders. And don't do anything stupid. The witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. Later, Hamhawk. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Born under the sign of the Shadow. You must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery, along with her lover. 
The lover will likely be your target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Kill well and often. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald, to play some part in the being's inevitable end. You're being sent to meet with a contact directly, is that correct? What a most unusual occurrence. Astrid usually performs this duty herself. I can only assume she wants to test the full breadth of your abilities. So be polite and professional and represent us well. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her Keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Darkness guide you. How went your meeting with Anodius Papias? Did you prove his paranoia legitimate? Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. I'm sorry I don't. Come see me again later. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Happy hunting! There's too much of an obsession these days with knives and arrows. You could kill someone just as easily with a well-placed spell. Yeah. Just because you're now a professional assassin, don't think you have to skulk around in the dark like a skeever and stab people. Do what I do. Walk up to your target, introduce yourself, melt their skin off, and then run like the wind. <laughs> Works every time. That arrival is the best thing that's happened to the Sanctuary in years. Astrid is an effective leader, but we've been rudderless for too long. Scrounging for contracts, abandoning the tenants. The Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Remember, 
fireballs. You can never go wrong. Correctly, in and out of Vardenfell in less than 48 hours. Brother. Tidings. <clears throat> wait, oh wait! <gasps> I know you. Yes, yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am, I am! But not just my mother. Our mother, hmm? The Night Mother, oh yes. <laughs> and you helped me, you helped poor Cicero, you talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... Desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, 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 you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> you, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm... That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis... is all those things. He is... the Void. Oh, Cicero takes care of our lady's body. Oils it? Preserves it, keeps it safe. Make sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see. The Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> ...happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her say the words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the listener is the only person the Night Mother speaks to. It is the highest honor attainable by a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Of course, Our Lady is dead, so she doesn't talk with words, since her lips are rotted. But inside the listener's head, I hear it's intimate. Ah, but there has not been a listener in years and years. Our Lady has not chosen Cicero, and certainly not Astrid, or anyone. But, someday... There 
farewell, farewell. So, is it true? You're referring to Don't let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're ten will do that to a girl. Brilliant idea. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. You're headed to the Hag's Cure, right? It's a good shop. You should examine their wares. Never pass up the chance to buy a good potion. Or poison. And one more thing. Have fun. You'll be committing a dark deed, but there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy yourself. You're only young once. Trust me, I know. Two hundred years ago, I would have laid down my life for the unholy matron. But that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. Have a good contract.